Steve Urkel, please, sauna, bus driver. You. I forgot. It's been how many episodes? And I completely forgot to put on my fingerless leather gloves. I thought you weren't going to do it. I was. Uh, you didn't have them on. You usually have them on before I do. I have like, before you even get to the house. I'm wearing mm. these things. Make sure the vibe's right. Yeah. yeah. You know? I wake up. I brush my teeth and put my gloves on. <laughs> before I silence my alarm clock. Mm. I, gotta, I put on these fucking fingerless I, leather gloves. It turns into a fist and I just smash <laughs> the alarm clock. The alarm clock turns itself off. I've spent off. so much money on alarm clocks because <laughs> I bust it every morning. Worth it. Brand new studio. It looks Yay! exactly the same, huh? It, yeah, it does. It's <laughs> but it feels different. It does. And we got a little more space over here. We're gonna hang some shit up here. And speaking of brand new studio, we need some stuff, guys. Mm. Zach is he's happy back there. I like it. He's got his own little spot, his own little cave his with all the awesome equipment in there. Giant little cave for a big man in a little cave. Big, big man. Big guy, little cave. fat guy in a little cave. But the walls are bare. So if you guys could send some stuff in, that'd be awesome. Anything, artwork, all the creative. It's creators. a bear cave. Sure, why not? Fuck it. Uh, Zach has to. We need to have a sign that just says Zach Duck. Yeah, because he's you know six twelve, mm. and the getting in there, you have to go underneath mm-hmm. some like heating ducts. It's and, pretty fun. Like I, be- I have, to, I have to duck. He's just gonna start walking around. He's gonna be <laughs> hunched over now. He's waiting for us to can you don't medical. Mm-hmm. So he can get his scoliosis figured out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, you know, we, we got this. If you're watching on YouTube, we got this, uh, the peaches. These are these are here now. If you guys were following along with the uh, yeah. studio renovations. Yeah. We got some peaches from uh, the World War II era. So and, we know who Patient Zero will be. And both of you guys talked me out of opening it. It's I a little scary. You there went with the next, starting the next plague. Yeah. I mean, you never know. There could be something... In it, in it, yeah. Looks like, like maybe peaches. you open it up and it just escapes, and now mm. we're now we're in, in ha- indoors again. That's a new movie plot. Yeah, <laughs> the peaches, Pe- uh, killer peaches, peaches for me, <laughs> millions of peaches, peaches. killing peaches uh, that bleed, <laughs> something like that. We'll work on the <laughs> on a killing spree on the theme song. Uh, episode sixty seven, having a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with us. We. I don't know. We recorded. It feels like we haven't recorded shit in like a month because we had to record so far in advance. Got the new studio set up, so uh, very excited to get going in here. Yeah, it's good it's, stuff. The temperature is regulated. Yeah, like I feel it's comfortable. I'm not already sweating or freezing. <laughs> or free, yeah, it's right in the middle, which is so awesome. I feel, feel comfortable. Uh, thanks to everyone who supports us on Patreon. That's how you get the bonus content on the back end of every single show. Plus, I uh, got the merch deals, all that kind of stuff. And you can sign up at Patreon.com/slash Candy Don't Podcast. And then you want to send stuff in, hey guys, at can you don't podcast.com. And for physical things, we have some we have something cool waiting for us. I just haven't had a chance to go to uh the uh P.O. box to grab it yet. Mm. But exciting stuff. Zach, it's not supposed to be refrigerated, is it? <laughs> no. Zach already knows all about these things. I do. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep it low-key and hopefully well, I, I, we should be able to talk about it and try it out next week. But if uh you want to send in a physical is it lube? it's loop. It's just it's just like a him and her anal lube. Mm. Like, that's all it is? What a show that would be. I thought we were saving that for episode 69. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Breaking in the new studio with some gape! Uh, and then physical things, you'll find that mail address in the episode description. Shout out to all of our daughters that wrote in about smelling their own panties. When are we going to get female, too, to make it equal? Female what? When we get male. Oh, gotcha. But when are we going to get female? Hey. Oh! Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who wrote in about smelling their own panties and or tasting their own wet vagina paste. Yeah. Lot. Um, a lot of that. And here's a fun one from our daughter, Laura. Okay. It says, hey, oh, daddies and Uncle Z. Uncle Z is like a cool. Yeah. Like that's the sunglass emoji mm. right there with old Uncle Z. I'm going to turn my hat backwards. <laughs> You're making yeah. him sound too cool. Dial it back a little bit. Like when he sits down at the table, he flips the chair backwards like Slater. Oh, yeah. That's what Uncle Z does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. the little scoot up. <laughs> yeah, I got the... It's up. And then you get out and you flip it back to where it was. The little <laughs> fucking seed nerds. <laughs> like dweebs. Dweebs will kick their food off the table. <laughs> back in my college days, my best friend and I lived in an apartment off campus, but we had to get a third roommate with our land- uh, when our landlord raised the rent. 
One night we came home to find her on the couch, playing Call of Duty on the Xbox and sucking on what looked like a piece of cloth. A few minutes later, we sat down. She took the piece of cloth out of her mouth, which turned out to be her panties. Mm. And so she has put her panties in her pocket, pulled up her pajamas, took off her current panties, and then put the pussy part, whatever that's called, right into her mouth. Mind you, she acted like it was the most normal thing to do. She moved out a few months after with an older guy that she had just met and told us she knew he was the one because he got off by watching her suck her panties off. Side note, she would also empty her diva cups on a jar and put a uh, put it under the bed for good luck. Wait, what's a diva cup? I don't know. Anyone know what a diva cup is? I was mm. hoping, I was banking on at least one of us knowing what a diva cup is. Diva. Empty her diva cup? Maybe that's the front part? <laughs> the front part? <laughs> diva shop, the original diva. Cup. Diva cup. There's oh. so many people screaming at the. <laughs> Your con- conscious cycle care partner. Oh, okay. Reusable menstrual disc with leak-proof oh, okay. shield. Okay. okay. I, I diva cup on, uh, I, I on love a that jar. she's just like, when he tells that story, <laughs> oh, how did you know he's the one? Well, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. <laughs> he likes it when I suck on my own panties. Mm-hmm. Mm. Aww. Yeah. You can, <laughs> you're you also just going to have one of those, when you're, gra- when you're grandparents and your grandkids, because how you met. Mm. How you met. It's going to be a great story. Oh, you're going to love that. Put that in your vows. No, I was going to say in their vows. I vow yeah. to watch you suck your panties. <laughs> I promise to always, I forever come to you sucking on the pussy part of your panties, as Laura put it. And she's in her vow. She's, I always to m- vow to make you. Make you come. Yeah. By doing the thing. Uh, but she would put that diva cup under her bed for good luck. <laughs> and bye. And then she wants a sexy honk. So you got that in you? Perfect. Perfect. I don't know how I... Is that sound of the... Of the sucky? Sucking the panties? I don't know. I'm trying to think of playing Call of Duty <laughs> on her team, but having to hear that... Mm. Like, what do you have in your mouth? My panties. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the team the is right over there. God damn, get your panties out turn of your around, mouth. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I, I, when you said you suck, I was expecting something else. Oh. Like she had a wiener in her mouth and playing college. That'd be pretty impressive. That would be extremely. She's just like going around just, she's just sniping people. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, Exactly. That'd be impressive. I, you know what? I, I, awesome. I would have to agree. Absolutely have to agree. Um, are you ready to, to move on? I guess if we have to. That yeah, was... I think we have to. I mean, we got, our, we got our jar of peaches. We got sucking on panties. We're off to a great start. Yeah. All right. Jars of peaches. <laughs> hey, Zach, do it! Hey, shut up. Start the show already. All right. So I was able to pull this Would You Rather... Out of our email. Okay. And there's nothing nothing naughty about this. No panty sucking oh, whatsoever, good, good. okay? Uh, it was sent in by Kennedy, and it just says, Would you rather travel to the depths of the ocean or travel to the furthest reaches of space? Space. So, I mean, immediately go jump into space, right? Well, we know what happens when you try to get to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I remember that. You have a Titanic disaster. Okay, but you have a better submarine. Mm. Okay, so you're you're able to go down and travel to the depths of the ocean, which is pretty fucking sweet, especially considering it'd be pitch black. Yeah. Well, you, okay, you have a big light. You got to get all the things you want to do uh, all the exploration you want, and then or go to the farthest reaches of space, like go see what the fuck is out there. Which way are you going? Well, that's ah, it's such a. It's such a drastic difference. That, mm, yeah, we, I know. That, that universe is ever expanding. <laughs> yeah, never gonna get there. Yeah, spend all your time chasing this expanding universe. Never gonna waste get the time. to that because <laughs> right. it's always expanding, expanding. <laughs> never uh, the it's space is this. I mean, I love it, but it's it's scary. You're gonna find some crazy shit, right? I mean, at least no. somewhat of this world, like worldly. You'll find in the depths of the ocean, you'll find some crazy fucking fish. Chances are you're not going to find a civilization, which is a huge bummer. So that's in the... You can find some gold. You can find some gold. That's what I'm looking for in space or the ocean. You're going for gold or silver and then just coming back and being a rich guy? Yep. If I'm being honest, like, I've never, obviously never been to either one, Mm. but the the way that space is portrayed, like when you, when you're, all the movies and stuff, when you're out in space... How you can see planets because, like, the reflection of the sun and all that. Right. 
it's dark, but as long as you're fuck, as long as you're in range of a planet, uh, I would you feel like you see something. Mm-hmm. The bottom of the ocean is just it's pitch black. You have a light, but it only extends so far, mm-hmm. and it would feel very claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, it would be awful. But even if it was, I was able to explore the depths of the ocean in a lazy boy, the newest model of lazy boy recliner. I have some chips somehow. <laughs> I, got, I got a drink. Your, got your house <laughs> is floating at the bottom of the right. ocean. And I'm looking out the window in my 2023 lazy boy. You're a very serious explorer. Yeah. Well, I'm just, you know, casually, I'm, br- I'm just browsing. <laughs> You see someone down there. What do you do? Can I help you? No, I'm just browsing. Lewis and Clark and Joe. <laughs> like Joe in my motorized Lazy Boy recliner. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis and funny. Clark with Joe. <laughs> How funny is that to think of? You think of Lewis at the top of a mountain. Mm-hmm. You're like, Clark? Mm-hmm. Like, our, like we're, we're, we're losing. We're losing. We lost 10 people last night to diarrhea. Got an, lost another Indian. <laughs> yeah, we lost. We're, we're, we're going to die. We're low on food. In the background, you see like, <laughs> like getting louder and louder. <laughs> Camera zooms out a little bit and just me <laughs> rolling up to the top of the mountain in my lazy boy. What do you guys see down there? <laughs> Holy shit, it's steep. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Dude. There's this, and then crunch. <laughs> oh, dude, that's crazy. Look at that. <laughs> Mm. And my shoes are just pristine because I haven't <laughs> taken a step. <laughs> All their shit's falling apart. Nice to have on white Nikes. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. That's crazy. Dude. Did you guys listen to what, uh, what's your face said? Chicago way? Did she say go this way? I, I mean, I didn't, I don't know. I didn't hear. I was exploring. I was hunting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking hunting in a lazy boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all j- jerking around. It's real like, hey Clark, yeah, can you move that log? <laughs> I think I see something. <sighs> I fucking hate this guy. Just, I picture Lewis and Clark, and <laughs> all the people are just like, you can roll up, and they're just like, <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's super fast. Like there's just <laughs> buffalo running through, and you're chasing them. <laughs> you're fucking lazy boy. You're motorized lazy boy. <laughs> Ah, get I, here! I picture like for <laughs> the last he <laughs> it's like some rich guy that got to go along <laughs> on an ex you know like you can pay to go hunt elephants or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's like somebody get paid to go <laughs> explore with Lewis and Clark in the first. So he's ex- got all the amenities. The only way their the whole trip got funded was because you wanted to go with your motorized lazy mm-hmm. boy. That's that was the that was the agreement. Yeah, I'll fund your entire exploration from Louisiana to Pacific Ocean, wherever the <laughs> yeah. hell the. Wherever you went, wherever the Oregon isn't that where it was, was Zach? Yeah, L- Louisiana to Oregon. Yep, sounds okay. right. Uh, and you, <laughs> you're like, I'll fund the whole fucking thing twice. Here's the, but <laughs> and the way back in case it doesn't work <laughs> both, out both ways. I in will case buy you, get, you Iowa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. In case you guys get too tired, I'm not going to get too tired. Look at this thing. <laughs> but you guys might. I just fucking up with break his something. feet up too. Yeah. You know, just like when he Kicking when he back. turns his feet, kind of <laughs> swing a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a mix of like you know like a a, a rascal mm-hmm. that an old person uses mm-hmm. and but a comfier version a comfier version mm-hmm. of that like a, a a recliner version of that <laughs> okay now let's just put this recliner would you explore the bottom of the ocean in a motorized lazy boy or explore space in a motorized lazy boy you get to you get to survive in both situations no but on a, on a serious note i've just always loved and had a fascination with space yeah me too i want to go if there's going to be if you could go anywhere and i feel like you have a magic ship right in the would you rather because if you're like i want to explore the reaches of space but we're just stuck with the technology we have now i'd be like god damn it there goes mars that's the last thing you're gonna see before you die <laughs> Was you passing Mars? Well, just it's going to take you fucking years nine years, years to get to Pluto. Fucking nightmare. And that's just the that's the outer reaches <laughs> of our solar system. Not yeah, even the next star. You got to have some magic shit. Yeah. If the, imagine looking out the window of your ship and you're like, cool. It's like that. The highlight is zipping by Pluto when you're maybe 90 years old. And you're like, that's what I'm doing. Where's the cyanide capsule? Because <laughs> fuck this. Space sucks. Well, what's crazy is the technology that we have now. You can only do you can only do that exploration at a certain time. Um, with the the fucking <laughs> orbits of the planets because you got to use oh, the them, yeah. you got to use the slingshots and mm-hmm. all that shit. With uh, with the ocean, 
I mean, you just <laughs> go down, right? Like, but there's got to be there's got to be some really cool things you will for sure find down in the depths of the ocean that will have a bigger impact on the planet in which you live on, which is a cool thing to do. You take off, <clears> you <throat> zip out. You're like, anyway, see you, losers. I'm gonna go fucking fuck off in space. Yeah. Bye. So I guess here's here's the the clause that I have. If I'm going, if I'm visiting the depths of the ocean, mm-hmm. I it's got to be illuminated. You like you, when you're going down, you got to be able to see the fucking <laughs> octopi, and because once you get down there, there are fish that actually have like they have their own lighting systems. Yeah, and so I don't want to see like dark and then like some lights going around. <laughs> like I want to see some fucking whales. Yeah. I want to see some sea crabs down at the depths. I don't want to, and I don't want that, the flashlight that's like this, and you just see like, Whoa, you, you know what, what I'm that? talking about, right? I like the exactly little ray of talking. light, and it's just bubbles. <laughs> yeah. You don't see anything. And like little tiny bacteria. Mm-hmm. I want to, it's got to be illuminated so I can see all the shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> or else I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm. Do you want to go to the bottom of the ocean? Can Depends. I see shit? <laughs> Depends. How big's your light? <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you have any fucking lights or anything? Or <laughs> what are we doing down here? Yeah, I mean, because I it was just gonna be black. <laughs> oh man, I could, I could stay in my bed and turn the light off. You talking about this reminded me of when we were packing up to move the studio over here, <laughs> and we both just went into uh, call-in mode. Uh-huh. You'd be like, how about you just like fucking, <laughs> yeah, fucking, <laughs> like super serious shit? Like, I don't know, I think it should fit. I mean, there's no way this will like, uh, like fucking fly out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> imagine like NASA doing that. Yeah. Here, will yeah. you fucking, yeah, just, uh, lower the gasket and the yeah, fucking, this, if you don't, um, fucking move that, the spaceship's gonna blow up and yeah. kill everybody or whatever. Here, don't, don't fucking push that. Because <laughs> yeah. if you do, we all die. So that picture, uh, I was picturing you, that type of person exploring the ocean. Oh shit, fucking, what was Dude, that? Dude, imagine Neil Armstrong. He's like, one fucking, fucking, <laughs> Yeah, step for for <laughs> leap for fucking mankind or whatever. <laughs> One fucking <laughs> what leap or step know. or whatever. I'm bored. Do you guys have any lights? <laughs> <laughs> it's cool being down here and everything. Do you guys have any fucking lights? Or well, whatever? that's, I mean, that's the I'm thing. I'm going right? space. I'm going that's space. The thing. Like, I need to see something mm-hmm. in space. I'm sure you're going to get out far enough where it's just going to be in a, a black mass. But it feels like there's so much out. Well, yeah, run into another sun, another like, star. There's yeah. something out there. It'll be illuminated because there's a bunch of stars lighting shit up out there. Yeah, uh, I'm going space. It seems like Zach, Zach hasn't even chimed in. He's just like, yeah, it's space. Space. space, space. I love space. Let's do space. Space stuff. Fuck the ocean. Fuck the turtles. Fuck the turtles. Yeah. It's yeah. I mean, it, how how cool to be to go like Mariana's Trench and like be able to go down and just and see all the shit. <sighs> like seeing the shit would be cool. It would be really cool. It'd be a little, it'd be a fun treasure hunt. Gotta see it though. I feel like I have a little more idea of what I'm doing at the bottom of the ocean than I would out in space. I think you'd be surprised, <laughs> dude. We've, dude, so, like people surprised that I know what I'm doing. We or? know more. We know more about the the universe, yeah. than the fucking bottom of the ocean. I know. So there's that. It would help humanity probably a lot more to just do it on the in the ocean. But fuck humanity. If they give me a big enough light, I'm going the ocean. <laughs> Perfect. That's the key, though. That's settled. Like I need, I need a a, a fog lamp fog or machine. like a. I need, or you don't a, have any as a fog no, machine. No, a flood, a flood lamp. Floodlight. They give you floodlight. One, your only requirement is like, dude, I'd love to do it. Do you guys have a floodlight? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no problem. I hope this isn't too much okay. to ask. Can you guys give me one floodlight? Like just a floodlight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we get this in the budget. There's already 400. I only need one. Yeah. I only need one <laughs> floodlight and I'll go. All right, let's move on to what you're what we're thinking about. Because you oh, were, you last, thought something last pretty cool. Last thing yeah? before we move on. Yeah. Are you by yourself? Yes, because no one else gets to do it. So I think it's- uh, You're not you, like with a pilot or anything? Yeah, like a team? Yeah. A team of- Like Lewis and Clark. No, just you and your floodlight, Brian. <laughs> Brian, I'd be, I'd get real lonely. Brian and his floodlight. And yeah, you can come back up. Could you imagine like you're ripping through space, just like, oh fuck your hair off, just metal. <laughs> hey me, it's me again. Yeah, <laughs> listening to house house music. Just yeah, <laughs> zipping by fucking all these solar systems, <laughs> going by Pluto. Just <laughs> <laughs> Pluto. Sup, dude. Sup, dork. Guys, see you on the way back, dude. <laughs> Sucks to be demoted, huh? 
<laughs> yeah. Nerd. Remember when you used to be a planet, bitch? <laughs> Just <laughs> thrusters up. <laughs> 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 so it was like, fuck me all the grass times. Dude, just, yeah, just talking you. to shit, talking shit to things <laughs> to that planets? can't talk shit back. You drive by. Remember I used to be a planet, bitch? <laughs> Lose some weight, Saturn. Your rings are tight. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, but just to see the blaster. <laughs> Whoa, man. Fuck, I need to size up on those rings. I'll sat and lose some weight. <laughs> hey, Uranus, how about be the butt of every joke? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Uh, okay, let's move on to what we're, what are you thinking about? Because you have something cool. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, okay. I'm excited to move, learn more. Okay. Okay, hey, Zach. Hey. Hey, what's up, babe? What are you thinking about? Ah, uh, you know, nothing. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about a lot of shit. What are you thinking about? Picturing this motorized lazy boy in different scenarios is killing me. Like, I don't know why I've, I thought of this, but like a rodeo, when they let the calf go, and the next thing out to shoot is you and a fucking lazy boy <laughs> in the lasso. <laughs> it's running for it, and you're just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ripping up through the dirt on a calf. <laughs> oh, you, you got it. <laughs> you have a hard time getting out of your seat. Just, that's you what I was going to say. You have to put the, the fucking thing back up to get out. Because <laughs> normally, when you're like, you know, calf roping or steer wrestling, mm-hmm. like steer wrestling, especially, you got to. You run next to it and you hop <laughs> off, and then you got to wrestle it down. But it's just like you take off, you're like, you have to fucking get out of your chair, roll out of your chair. You put a, you rip my fucking cushion. God damn it! Oh god, I'm gonna just, get you. You rip my, you oh. made my whole seat smell like cow shit. God damn! And the little ride off at the end after you do it, and you throw your hands up, yeah, and, and you throw get, your hat, and you get back in your lazy boy and kick the legs out and. Slowly roll back into the into the back area, whatever that's called in Rodeo Land. Uh, okay, what did you find? Oh, what did you find for what are you thinking about? So funny. So good. Um, all right, so I was messing around with some music today, and I got fed an ad about AI vocals, and you know, we get we're hearing about this shit all okay, the time. Okay, yeah, I mean, we did like, the, we, Plankton, we've done Johnny Cash. Yeah, they're, they're like remaking songs. You can be whoever you want to be, basically. You can hear. You can make a song featuring whoever, right. and you can do that. But I thought this was, or or yeah, <laughs> or you could do this, which I thought was really cool. That I haven't, I've seen some takes on it, but it feel this feels like it's very uh, put together, put like, the, they, uh, like they've got it figured out. And there might be something better than this. this is just what I, I like found. The way, like the way so it's put called uh, Music Fi. Music Fi. Yeah, Music Fi. Music Fi. By Music Fi. <laughs> Brought to you by Music Vi. Five, 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 five. <laughs> Spokane's best. Spokane. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so you can uh, you can do any anything you want. They have like built in uh, artists that you can sing they, they can and all this kind of stuff from and work with. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're used to we're used to that the vocals and stuff. But what I thought was cool about this. Is uh, and I haven't even got to mess with it yet. I was just watching a guy do it, so I'm going to play. A you little... know, a guy. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. You get more ads for music. Five. My screen's just black. Oh my god. Let me re. <sighs> what happened? New studio, new internet. It's just not working. Oh! You th- when you think you think of everything, and then you just didn't. What's happening, Zach? Here comes. Verify. Are He's you watching. in? Are you, did you plug in? <laughs> So he's using his voice. Oh. I thought that was Zach. <laughs> no. Oh my God, I thought that hey, was Zach. Up? Like Zach just like <laughs> took it upon himself yeah, to throw and hold he, he's music. He's like, fuck, I'll just throw it. <laughs> Fine, I got it. Doom, doom, do, do, doom, doom, ba, da. And I was like, like this what? dead air shit. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is he doing out there? Dead air. Boom, dead air. Yeah, if you said that. Dead, 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 dead air. Dead, 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 so this is the guy recording into his microphone he's with his mouth he's going you know that classic guitar riff so then so what's cool is you you have all these instruments that you can um put in there yeah and you just do the melody or do the what the lick with your mouth and choose the instrument and it's 
Watch this. <laughs> so the, a little heavier stuff. Okay. And then uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what? Yeah. Why well, learn how to play an instrument? Check. <laughs> check this out. Oh, you see, we did a little beat, and then you. Okay, check this one out. He's playing this. He played that on a little recorder. And turn it into a trumpet. Okay. And then check this out. Oh. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going, watch. Okay. Shut up, dude. All right. Okay, that's him. And then. Pictured him by himself I in know, a room with the with a little like a tiny little desk microphone. Mm-hmm. He's going do 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 if you're if you're in your head, anybody out there listening, if you have all these ideas in your head, where you're like, "Fuck, I can't play guitar, can't play drums, can't play the trumpet," you get a piece of software like this, mm-hmm. you can make an entire song. But not just that. Like if you're scoring a movie or something, and you're mm-hmm. like, "I need to make all these sounds. I need to make animal sounds." Yeah, you don't have to go out and find the shit. You just manipulate it with an app. And I also see it being like super helpful for even. You know, so let's say you can play all the instruments, right? But you have an idea, but you're not in a spot that you want to like, you can't put it down. Mm-hmm. Like you can't go to your studio and record something. So why the fuck not? Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be a great, and just go do 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 or whatever yeah. you have to uh-huh. do to get the riff recorded into your phone. And I think there's That'd a phone amazing. app. So yeah. you're like you could do whatever mm-hmm. on the go on just the to fly. get an idea. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I have this idea for like a violin sound. Mm-hmm. And you're like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> and then it just turns it into this gorgeous violin yeah, sound. That's really cool. I found this really interesting because I have, I mean, I have these country songs that I'm doing. And mm-hmm. one of the things that I've had the problem with is like figuring out how to get fiddle in there. Mm. So this and how to, it. And how to like MIDI and all that kind of stuff and, mm-hmm. how, and how to play it and the notes you need to play. But now, yeah, I can just be like, I can listen to the song and I brick, 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 <laughs> and play along with it, and then mm-hmm. it'll turn it into a nice little fiddle sound. That's pretty cool. And that could complete the song. And yeah. I don't want to use AI to not be creative anymore. That's that's what I'm hoping that we continue to use this for. Is it's like it it helps you in your process. It's an enhancer. It, it doesn't think yeah for you because we still need the element of the human. And I still want to be creative. I don't want to let AI do it for me. But if it can help you with the process, yeah. it's going to be crazy what be able, people will be able to create. Like, I don't, I think it's cool that you can make Snoop Dogg do a thing, you know? Yeah. But it's like, oh, it's kind of funny. Yeah. But like, I don't see that as like the future of it. I want to, you know, yeah. what this guy's doing. Like, it's like construction tools when they were invented. Like, yeah, yeah. They, they're just making you better at your craft. Yeah. So like, I kind of see that. like, oh, look at this guy's got a fucking hammer. I remember <laughs> when I had to use my forehead to. <laughs> they're like, just make in front of him. He's got like rocks. He's like, mm-hmm. what's this guy? <laughs> look at this hammer guy. <laughs> well, that, ow. There ow. is that mentality <laughs> still. It's like, oh, man, I remember when I had to use this. And nowadays they, they use this like a bunch of pansies. Oh, so we can get a job done in three hours instead of three days. Right. Yeah. Look at me. Why well, use a, a table saw when this other saw worked just fine. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I didn't grow up with no table saw. Cool. You, you're you going to get one job for every five that I do. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get left behind. I'm going to do seven jobs today and you're going to cut a piece of wood. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> uh, but anyway. That's good. I love that. I'm going to have to start fucking around with that. I love the idea. not even scratching the surface. I Like I said, I just saw it today, so I haven't even okay. got to dive in. Okay. It is a, it is a subscription-based thing, of course, but I imagine the, the endless possibilities if... Using this with your mind mm-hmm. will be endless. Yep. You got to come in with some ideas. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's not writing it all for you. Yep. Um, all right. Well, let's uh, let's whip it out this week. Whip it out? You ready to get some hogs? Yeah. Some sweaty hogs up and rolling? Mm. All right. Let's just yell at Zach then. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Zach! Oh, Is it you dumb? Yeah. Is it interesting? Is it cool? Then it's dick, dick. 
You like, set me it's up. It's like when we're let's jump in the let's jump in the ice water together. Ready? Ready? One, one, two, three. One, two. I'm going home when you're cold. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that was rude. Mm. I'm not gonna forgive you for that. I can live with that. All right. Uh, this was sent in by our daughter Lorraine, and I. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you yet. Actually, I'll tell Is you right now. Is husband Marty? <laughs> the or, sad... Or, this doesn't exist anymore. Okay, I'm just going to come out the gate and say that it, it gotten, it got, it's gotten torn down. But it did have a good run. And this is just so fucking funny to me. And it made me start thinking about uh, what other things should we be doing inside a restaurant <laughs> that we're not right now. So, <laughs> we all know about the dreaded meat sweats. I just want to eat. But at sure. this Burger King in Finland, they might be brought on by eating your Whopper in a sauna. Look at this thing. Look at it. It We're looks nice. Up. You go into a Burger King and you get in the fucking sauna and they bring you food and drink. And somebody thought that was a good idea. Like to and sweat, it was. Out the f- sweat out. No, because Finland, like saunas are life. That's mm. I'll tell you. Yeah. So uh, uh, as nude dining looks set to become Europe's most unlikely food trend, a naked restaurant in London currently has a waiting list of 37,000. What the fuck is that? So this Burger King opened up an in-store spa. Uh, the latest in- in- or innovation we never knew we needed features a 15 per- per- 15 person sauna, showering room, locker room, and media lounge with TV and gaming facilities. Guests can spread out on blue and red benches in the sauna, perhaps covering their modesty with a Burger King towel or robe, and watch TV or play video games while basking in the steam. And if all of that poor flushing is making you hungry, servers from the outlet visit the sauna to take food and beverage orders. You can enjoy a meal as flame-grilled as your skin, (laughs) although the fries might wilt in the humidity. (laughs) Alternative, <laughs> alternatively, <laughs> Helsinki, humor. yeah, come, yeah. Alternatively, <laughs> you might want to make that ice-filled giant coke, or take it and spill it all over your head. So that's not even. So the Finns, they have tons and tons of saunas. Uh, there's like one sauna for every three people in Finland. Like they do business meetings in them. They like that's just every home has it. Like you just go get in the sauna. That's something they do. And they're pretty happy people, aren't they? Pretty happy. Maybe that's the secret. But thinking <clears> about <throat> other things you could put in fast food restaurants, like little weird things like that. <laughs> I I don't want to. I don't know. <laughs> I I've mean, seen it, some of the people in, in fast food restaurants around right? here. I don't want to sit. You then don't go. Don't go in the sauna. Yeah, I'm okay? not. All right. But what if you rented it out? Would you go into a sauna in a, a restaurant ever? No. no. Why? Give it's me, just gross. Tell me, like, tell I me have, why. Tell I me have a why. Hard, I have a hard enough time um, using public pools or hot tubs mm-hmm. or anything like that, Are let you alone. F- do you like saunas at all in the, in general, though? Uh, yeah. Okay. But you just don't think that it belongs in a, in a restaurant? No, I don't care. I'm not saying it doesn't belong. I'm not going to use it. Yeah. I try not to sweat while I eat. Mm, that's I feel a good like point. That would be a little too much. Like it was a bar, I could see some legalities of getting super hot and sweaty while also consuming alcohol. You just sweat it out. <laughs> That'd be more fun though. I think you just get fucking hammered. I don't know, man. Not enough just, water in you. I just being around other people's bodily fluids and mm-hmm. and things like that. <laughs> like I, I see people. Well, I'll be at like a Mariner game or a Seahawks game. I walk in there in the bathroom to go pee. That's gross in itself. <laughs> And then you see, like, guy, a guy will walk in with his beer and, like, and food and, like, set it on top of the urinal and mm-hmm. pee. It's a and sandwich. I, and I'm watching, I'm like, that is so fucking gross. Oh, man, I do that. That's so gross. What's, what's so gross Just about piss it? piss and shit all over in the air, flying around in the air. It's not floating around anywhere else but right there? If you can smell it, it's flying around. <laughs> it's bad enough to have to breathe it in. Yeah. But then the idea that you're just, like, I don't know, eating it, too. Yeah. <laughs> True, I mean you're, but you're still eating and s- breathing it in the second you're in that bathroom. I don't want to be in there, but I have no. to go in there, and I don't want when I leave that place. I don't want the drink carrying the bathroom out with it, hanging out in there. This hot dog tastes like shit. Well, yeah, yeah. well, yeah, because you were pooping on it. I. Uh, what if you? Am I crazy? That ain't relish. No, you're not crazy. Food in the bathroom can. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But there's. So, I mean, I'm also in the boat where there's so many germs and shit everywhere. Like finding a like a line about whether it's in the bathroom or not, like I think it's total internally, like it's a mental battle because that shit germ, is everywhere. Not all germs are equal, though. 
<laughs> yeah, but isn't the bathroom cleaner than the kitchen sink? Isn't there the it's probably bit, cleaner than your phone. Been a, yeah, been a whole study. So I think it's a, lo- a lot yeah, of a sure, mental my game. bathroom. <laughs> but not a public bathroom. <laughs> sure. Well, even then, like the uh, out in like the dining area and shit like that, like the kitchen is dirtier than the bathroom. Is that like a We've dog's learned. mouth right after it eats some shit? They're like a dog's mouth cleaner than a person's. It's like cleaner. I just watched him eat its own poop. Because <laughs> it just pooped in his own mouth. That can't be cleaner than my mouth. Can you walk walking into like a I don't know, like a taco time? Is a hot tub in there? Are you getting in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I don't like even want to get. Cool I don't want to get in a hot tub at a luxury hotel. <laughs> You get a little burrito blanket. Get there with the fucking Burger King. I feel like that's the antithesis of fast food. <laughs> it's like, so come funny. sit and chill and be real slow. It's so funny. That reminds me of uh, of a Top Golf that I went to in Vegas. There's a fucking pool. Like, I know it's Vegas and they're just doing shit. Who the fuck is going in the pool at Top Golf? Like, who's going there and be like, I'm going to hit some balls and get in this pool? Go back to your hotel, you bum. Like, why are you using well, Top Golf for their pool? There's a DJ at it. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, that's, but Vegas, that's, I know, everywhere you go is so a fucking funny. party. Right. Burger King is not a fucking party. Probably is in Vegas. And now, if, now if the Vegas Burger King had a hot tub, would you go it's with a DJ? Especially not in Vegas. <laughs> it would be sticky. <laughs> uh, you guys are no fun. I'm never going to <laughs> anywhere with you. That's fine. You always stay home. You know I'm a homebody. You know this. <laughs> That's fine. You're and the I'm, adventurer. I'm, <laughs> I'm fairly content with that. I'm telling you, I would be tempted just because of how weird it is to go in a sauna on Burger King. Just because it's so fucking stupid and weird. Oh man, I got a busy day ahead of me. Yeah. Well, first I'm gonna drive my lazy boy over to Burger King and get in the Burger King sauna. <laughs> what are you doing after hours. that nah, no plans that should take all day <laughs> yeah you guys need anything oh, yeah I'm glad you guys came in here can I get a Whopper Junior the guy's like, you guys need anything <laughs> just going, yeah can you, can you, can you, is the fucking heat on <laughs> can you guys turn down the heat <laughs> sir you're in the sauna <laughs> I know can I get a Whopper <laughs> Junior on. get a Whopper Junior and you rotate around and you're lazy boy yeah, <laughs> see, the, uh, uh, whenever I've been in a sauna, my grandma and grandpa, ha- they built a sauna, mm-hmm. and they had a pool and stuff, and I did the sauna a couple times at the gym, and then it was just like, the the guys that were sitting in there just hanging dong and mm-hmm. just fat and- Hanging 10? Like, yeah, they're just like, I'm like, this is just gross. It's not for me. It's, and I'll put a they put a hamburger in that setting, and it just gets weird. Yeah, like what is so weird? We got a hot couple hot dogs in here, and, <laughs> and once again, Ooh, this is got, just my personal you cooking, preference. You guys cooking wieners in here? <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing, or that people shouldn't do it. People do whatever makes do people happy. If people happy, happy. <laughs> do just, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, this isn't me being like you guys shouldn't be doing this. I just don't want to do it. Yeah, no. Thanks. You asked me if I would do it. No, Man, I don't think I would but, either. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to do it, mm-hmm. and more power to them. The reason I would do it was just because it'd be funny and say I did it. Yeah, I don't need that. Like story. I would drag you guys to a Burger King to go in the sauna just to say we went in the Burger yeah, King. Yeah, and sauna. I'd watch you. I'd watch you through from the door. Through the door, take my order. Yeah, go get me a because Whopper. I'm eating my food because I want to fucking enjoy my meal, <laughs> not sweat and feel miserable. <laughs> That was the whole point of having the big... I love Burger King. Yeah. I don't want to think about every time I eat a, a Whopper, yeah. like tasting other people's sweat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. I know what you mean. I guess. I don't you. think you do. I do get it. <laughs> I don't think Listen, you do. I don't think you fucking get it. You just said no, 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 I think you I... want to do it so you could say you did it. Yeah. The fuck kind of reason is that? <laughs> what? That's life, baby. No. No? It's like people... Like, why, why would like, you jump out of an airplane? Cause it's fucking sweet. Yeah, but just to say you did it. No, I don't need to tell anybody I did it. It's <laughs> that's for me. If I jump out of an airplane, that that's you're, you're using the logic of someone going to a a, a fucking what's that uh, tree place in California? <laughs> Redwood. No. The uh-huh. pi- the uh, something tree Joshua tree oh like all the influencers that go to Joshua tree and they they like post a picture of them. oh I'm so zen and then they're like you know we got the picture let's head out head out of there so they can share it online to show like that's doing the thing is about experiencing it not yeah. telling and, people about it yeah and eating a whopper and a sauna and a Burger King that's not an experience <laughs> that I want for myself let <laughs> let alone tell anybody about it <laughs> you know what I mean uh, yeah. Do you? I, I got it. 
Just say you're boring. I don't I know. I just not believe you. Listen, just say you're boring. Next time before we even you get You just into said this. you would do it so you could tell people you did it. <laughs> no, so I could just do it. Like okay, that's different. <laughs> that's different than tell, just want to do it so you could tell somebody you did it. I'd want to go do it with you. It'd be a shared experience. <laughs> It'd be like, I'm how fucking funny that was. We went in the Burger King sauna. No, I'd be like, remember how funny it was? You went in the sauna. <laughs> and I went home. And hated your meal. <laughs> and, and I went I, home. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. That was such a cool experience. Was when that I went cool home. getting hepatitis C from that guy that was in there? I'm not sure that's how that works. <laughs> Going back to cocaine and hepatitis C. <laughs> <laughs> All saunas just fucking soaking hepatitis C out of everyone. I have a ton of fun at home. <laughs> yeah, just, we, we know. Let me just say that. <laughs> we know. We know, Brian. <laughs> Oh, I'm just fucking with you. I don't care. Um, so what is uh, what's your what's your dick this week? Uh, what is it? Um, <laughs> show it to me. Pull it up here. Put it in my hand. Oh, you know it's funny that we just had this whole conversation, and now we're gonna do this story. What is it? Michigan woman pulled from outhouse toilet after climbing in for Apple Watch. <laughs> I mean, those are they're spendy. They're pretty cool items. So, I mean, I get it. Which woman lowered herself into the toilet after dropping the watch and was later heard yelling for help. I mean, I'd do it just for the experience. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would. <laughs> anyway, you get to tell everybody about it. Yeah, I'd take you guys with me. I'm like, oh, remember that funny, how funny it was when we were all inside that porta like, potty? No, I was still in the car. Look for my watch? No, you're fucking a bird not, you, I was peeing outside of the porta potty. <laughs> gotcha. Or the, whatever the fuck. Mm. Woman was rescued on Tuesday from the outhouse toilet in northern Michigan while trying to retrieve her Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. The woman whose name was not released <laughs> lowered herself. Can you guys not tell? Hey, shh. <laughs> hey, between, can you keep this on the DL? Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> she, she's the opposite. She wanted the experience. She didn't want to tell anybody about it. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's a good way to go about life, though. Mm -hmm. you imagine covered in shit and the officers are walking out and you're like, hey, can you guys just like... Keep us on the DL. X on the shit toilet on the, day. On the story. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I see the news is here. Did you guys call them? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Is there any way you could tell them just like go home? Well, luckily they if her face was covered in shit, they couldn't, you know, <laughs> couldn't have to cover her head. Gotcha. All right. Uh first Back responders were called when the woman was heard yelling for help. The toilet was removed <laughs> and a strap was used to haul the woman out. She oh, was in the man. muck, if you will, said <laughs> Michigan State Police spokesperson. Oh boy. Uh, Carol said she retrieved her watch before her rescue. She was not injured, and uh, Carol said grateful for the first responders. An Apple Watch can cost a few hundred dollars. Sure can. If you lose an item uh, in an outside or an outhouse toilet, do not attempt to venture inside the contaminated area. Mm -hmm. Serious injury may occur. State police said in the release. Thanks, officer. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing she suffered from was a shitty attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh I, I lost my Apple Watch, and all I got was this <laughs> shitty fucking attitude. shitty experience <laughs> that I don't want to tell anybody about. One star. He should have reviewed it on Yelp. <laughs> the outhouse? <laughs> yeah. It's one review. She goes, I don't know. Started great. Started great, but I lost my watch. And got covered in shit. One star. <laughs> it How was, many it people was, found it helpful? <laughs> it, was it was awful trying to get out of this fucking hell hole. One star. <laughs> Service was terrible. How did she... Was she fucking with the watch? Um. Yeah. Who knows? Trying to put there's different bands. Maybe she was wipe, wiping her poop or mm, something, yeah, and then it slipped thing. off. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be a terrible watch. Can so, you imagine? Yeah. All it took was not having your arms straight up. Ugh. You're just like, I'm gonna wipe. Oh, god damn it! Like, did it have a strap? It has or to. Did she just like? <laughs> she was just holding on to it in her pocket. It's, she checks it. It's fucking taped. Yeah. <laughs> she has a just the well, cover of the watch. Dude, even the bands are expensive. Yeah. I mean, I have a, this metal one is, is fantastic. Yeah. By the way, um, it, it holds it on better than the one that came with my fucking watch. I'll tell you that. Well, okay. I'll tell answer you this I'll, question. Yeah. Would, if, if you were in her situation, would mm. you do the same thing? No. What would it take hmm. to crawl down in that muck? <sighs> Zach, would, this is posed for you too. I would first try to fish it. Like I'd be like, okay, bucket. Like you have to draw, like dip a dip a bucket down in there, and then pour all the shit out <laughs> outside of it, and hope you find your watch or like a diamond ring. How expensive would the thing have to be? That's, that's a, what that's I'm a, asking. I know you. that's a good question because that watch would be gone to me. Yeah, Zach. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I don't really care that much about stuff, but 
it's just sho- shoving your hand in some poo for a second or two. So it like, is just poop. I mean, you can clean but it's, it. But it's, it's a lot of different people's poo. I know. But if you have still a wound or poop. something, don't do it. But <laughs> no, even that's even that's I, for, the, for the experience alone. I could not wash my hands. <laughs> For the experience well, alone, I would cut my hands up and then stick it in. Dude, Just it would get underneath your nails. Yeah. Be, you'd be, I bite my nails. I'd bite I couldn't that. imagine like weeks later biting my nails and tasting someone's shit that was... Ugh. What about like just clean under your nails or whatever? Like dip them in some bleach or something. We could, but it, like you're not, you're not going to get rid of all of it, are you? Yeah. You can get rid of it. How much World's is, a how dirty much is place. an iPhone or an iWatch? Thousand bucks? So, an, yeah. an Apple Watch is three, four hundred bucks, depending on when you get. Four, yeah. Three, four, five hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. It's not worth it. If you well, dropped a gold bar in the toilet, would you go down and get it? How much is the gold bar worth? It's like two grand an ounce or something. Okay. So how here's much some, is in a bar? Here, this is something ounce, different. Maybe ten ounces. Uh, gotcha. The gold bar would be something that I could take out and clean. It's, in and, and clean it, but it, it's not something that I'm wearing every day mm-hmm. and like have to just be on my person and stuff. Yeah, so it's, just, the, it's the memory of it. The yes, yeah, the reminder you. of the experience. I, I would sell <laughs> that. Party hates. <laughs> I would sell that fucking gold block so fast to the it? nearest uh, half off. <laughs> Half Here. off, like a lemonade this, stand. This thing is worth ten grand. You give me three hundred bucks for this. Three hundred bucks. I just don't want this piece of shit. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> someone would be so confused. Mm. Like, what? Well, why is it so cheap? Like, pff, pulled it out of some poop. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, gold. I'd be like, give me the gold, you weirdo. I don't know what's what's in a. I what mean, about, it what about your laptop? What about your kid? Oh, what if your kid went in? Yeah, I mean, gotta get him laptop. <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, you're fucking kidding. <laughs> of course, you gotta get, gotta get him. You know, both of them or just one of them? Both of them are in there. And, but they have snorkel gear on, so you have to go like underneath. What the fuck to... are they doing snorkeling in there? Kids For just gold? cost money anyway. You're trying to find... Kids do weird shit. That is, the... <laughs> they're fucking. They're gonna. They're trying to find gold in an Apple Watch, and you got to go save them from drowning in shit. You going in? Nope. <laughs> nope. So Zach. Okay. My kids are this big. This is hypothetical. <laughs> yeah. This story is not hypothetical. No, this actually happened. This actually mm-hmm. happened. I don't know what it would be. I'm not that scared. I think I just have to get over the mentality of Apple Watch. No, I'm not going in for that. Um, Depends on your financial situation. No, absolutely. Right? Like, like if you're would. way, b- if she's so bad off that she had to, cr- she probably shouldn't be buying a, an Apple Watch. Sure. Or maybe she saved up for it. And it was precious to her, and she wanted it. Really wanted it. it was sentimental value. Uh, it was her grandma's Apple Watch. Isn't that something funny to think about? Like, we have mm, all these heirlooms yeah. <laughs> that are super important. It's like, like oh, this was my great-great-grandfather's pocket watch. Mm-hmm. And then it, now, in, in 200 years, you'd be like, ah, oh, that was my great-great-grandpa's Apple Watch. It's got dong pics on it and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Dong pics and memes. <laughs> SpongeBob memes. I love it. They mean so much to me. It's like a... Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah. like a time capsule, mm-hmm. you know, where they open it up and they're like, wow, this is what they were doing back then. Look at this hairbrush or whatever. Mm-hmm. And to us, it's just like, yeah, saved memes and dick pics. Mm-hmm. Um, before we move on to Petty B for this week, I do have a quick story. I'm, well, I mean, I'm just going to, I'll cut out so many details, but I have lost my Apple watch before jumping, doing some cliff jumping in the river. And I didn't know it when I first jumped off, but I, you know, I don't know how many times or when I did lose it, but I knew where it was and I jumped off and it's like 15 feet. Like it's a fucking, it's a hole in the river that you're jumping off rocks into. And I got back to the bank on the other side and I was drying off and I was like, oh fuck. I knew exactly where it was, but I didn't have any snorkel gear or anything. So we were with the kids and my buddy Robbie. So we packed everything up. We had to hike out of there. Me and Robbie went to Big Five, got some scuba gear. Oh, my God. And then got back in the car, drove back, and then hiked back out to the swimming hole. And we go out there, and we're diving. You know, it felt like forever, but the sun was about to go down. So in reality, it was probably 30 minutes. But 30 minutes of coming up and holding your breath and trying to kick your way down to 15 feet at the bottom to see if you could find it is exhausting. Yeah. And you always think you're going to die. <laughs> like that's just I don't 15 know. Fifteen feet, there's already a lot of pressure. Yeah, it fucking sucked. It was not fun. And I went down and I'm like, we were about to give up. And I went down and I saw like through the the silt. Silt? Sit. Sut. Salt. Sit. Sit. Shit. Salt. Shit. Uh <laughs> the, uh, the time. 
I, I was like, what? So I had to go back up and then I got my breath and I came down. I grabbed, I came down. I was like, you're not going to believe this. And someone else found it. And someone else already had it. They were like, dude, <laughs> it was like, gotcha. Check it, out. It's like, it was an like older version of my watch. And he just had a, the, the, like the background screen. just said, sorry, bro. <laughs> um, no, but I grabbed my watch and I came up and we swam back across and we're getting ready to leave. And I for doing the same thing, drying off and my wedding ring is gone. <laughs> no, you guys, I've, I've never told this story to you guys. I didn't hear that. So then my wedding ring was gone and I have my watch and I'm Robbie. I'm like, you're not going to believe this. He's like, fucking what? Like we're exhausted. And I was like, I lost my wedding ring. Oh and he's like, God. no way. And I, and I was like, he's like, we're not going to find, I was like, I'll have to try. So I got my fucking snorkel shit back on and go over and he's like, God damn it. So he comes over with me. I took my watch off and I put it in my backpack. <laughs> Cause I'm not that dumb. I'm like, yeah, switch blades and airports. I'll make that mistake again. So we go over and we're diving down and uh, long story, even shorter, one of the dives I go and I see it. Gl- I see a glisten. Like the sun is so close to go behind the trees. Never would have found it. And something, it just goes, ee! I see a little shimmer and I'm like, no way. And I swim down and there's a rock and the rock has a crack in it. And my ring is laying in the crack. It looks like at a jewelry store. <laughs> it looked, sits yes. There. It looked like it was like the sword mm. for, you know, whatever. The, Sorcerer's stone or whatever. Yeah. We had to pull that thing out. Or He-Man. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was just, it was, dink, and it was just sitting there. And I went down and pulled it out and <laughs> found my wedding ring. And Never, you got back out there. What, it, what were you losing that time or missing? I came back up. And I was like, Your oh, sanity. no. Where's my brain? <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> yeah. All right, that was my story. <laughs> Still never found it. <laughs> Still never got it back. <laughs> Looking, whatever. Uh, that was it. That was my story. So, Where's okay. your wedding ring now? <laughs> Lost Ooh. it. Mm. You get it. All right, let's move on to uh, Petty Beef. You ready? Set! Violence in the court. You are now entering the Petty Beef courtroom, where all sides of some bullshit will be heard and evaluated. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final-ish. This is Petty Beef. You want to set it up for us, honey? Do I? I've been waiting. For this will be sent to us by our son, Ethan. Okay. And if, <clears throat> if you say please, I'll read it to you. What? Oh, you'll see. Hey, guys. It's your favorite son, Ethan. Got some beef with my wife that I would like you to guys weigh in on. Okay. You guys to weigh in on. My wife? What? Yep. I'm in. I'm weighing. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to take over. No. <laughs> it's so rude. I, I got it. <laughs> I'll take it from here. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Thanks. You're doing so well. I've actually well. been doing pretty well reading lately. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a good job. My wife has had it in her head that I need to say please every time I ask her to do anything. <laughs> Even if she's already up or going to do the same thing I ask her to do. Mm. Example, she's going down to the garage to get a beer, and I ask her to grab me one too. And she will respond with, uh, can I get you a beer? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's not really needed except for when it's something that is inconvenient for her, which case I usually do it myself. She says it's to help teach our kids manners, but she does. Uh, she even does this when they are asleep. What do you guys think? Your son, Ethan. They're always watching. So, yeah, they're little sponges. Mm-hmm. So funny, like in a marriage, 15 years in. <laughs> hey, baby, will you... Uh, here, Wait, just put that in your mouth for a minute. What do you what, say? What do you put in your mouth? Please. please. Oh, yes, please, baby. Please. But, like, where are your manners? To, like, two grown-ass adults. It's so funny. <laughs> Sitting on the couch. Oh, baby, hand me the remote. What's the magic What's word? What's the magic word? <laughs> Fucking get me it? Now? Now? Thanks. Like, just such a weird... It seems like a weird, like, little power, like, a little power play. And I'm not saying that manners should not be used. I I say please all the time. Like, oh shit. Like you realize in can be like, oh man, like I forgot, blah, blah, blah. Like, can, can you, you go, please can, can you grab it, please? Yeah. And like I don't say that while I'm in my motorized lazy boy. Because mm-hmm. I just go get it myself. Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone you knows. You can go that. anywhere with those. Yeah, this thing's fucking off-road, got four-wheel drive tires on it. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but just like, oh, you know, please, sorry. Like it's always that kind of thing. But just anything between like a couple petty little stuff. <laughs> yeah. Can you hand me that blanket? Like that's right next to you. Will like, you grab me a fork. Yeah, can you grab me a fork. Like, can, what do you say? Can I get you a fork? What? And, but she also has it in her hand. Mm. Okay. And what's what's the she, magic word? Yeah, she goes like that and pulls it pulls away. Pulls it back. Like, what's the magic? Use your man. Use your words. Be nice. And you're like, mm, please. Here you go. What if it was like? Oh my god. I think what? I'm having a heart attack. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're actually dying. I, f- I, f- I fooled you there. Scared me. What if the guy was like. Oh, oh God! I think I think mm-hmm. I'm having a heart. 
Oh, well, you, you got to call an ambulance. We, we call an ambulance? <laughs> well, I call an ambulance. What? what? <laughs> Fucking now. <laughs> Babe, this is not the time. This is not the time what? <laughs> yeah. The kids <laughs> it are- It doesn't even make sense. The kids are here. Yeah, they're going to be dadless. Yeah. You're going to be on your own. I'm going to be on my own what? <laughs> please. You're going to be on your own, please. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Nine, one, one. <laughs> and then she's talking to the 911 operator. <laughs> What's your emergency? Can I have the address? <laughs> What's the Can magic Can you have words? the address What? <laughs> They're like, and then you, you hear the guy on the other line. <sighs> My Can wife I have does the this, address, please? please. Yes, we were at four 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 East. <laughs> now, Heart how, hard, how hard was that? How, was that hard? I, I don't know. I don't, how, how long the symptoms been going on? How long have the symptoms been going on? What? That doesn't even make any sense. How long have the symptoms been going on? Please. <laughs> That's better. Um, I don't know. It just came out of nowhere, <laughs> and then just continues on with the conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, I. Every time I hear something like that, it's like, there's something rooted, mm-hmm. you know, like there's like maybe her past relationship was n- not enough pleasing. Yeah. It was, yeah. I didn't please her enough. Wink. Yeah. You get it. She, a little more pleasing. Yeah. <laughs> She's fitting in all the pleases. <laughs> Getting pleasure, you know, got to get, got to get pleased. What if he did it to her? She's like, uh, you know, she asked me, oh, will you, will you fuck me harder? What if what if like you heard her? What? what? <laughs> Please, no, no, because I had to ask. The kids are watching. <laughs> the kids are watching. No, I'm just working on our man. Where are your manners? Yeah, where are your manners? Where are your manners, baby? Oh my god, can I come? Can I come? What? <laughs> Please, yes, <laughs> yes, you may. Sure, yes, you may. Good job. You may. Yeah, you rustle their hair. <laughs> good job. You may come. In sport. <laughs> You're good. Good job with your. <laughs> Big manners. What if you if you talk to your wife or your spouse, like like kids? Oh, mm-hmm. great job, sport. Good mm-hmm. job today. I like to do that. Like I do that to Cassie sometimes. Right after she's like done blowing you, you're like, oh, good job, sport. Yeah, yeah. get off a meeting. I'm like, oh, you did such a good job. Mm-hmm. Give her a little, <laughs> little punches. A little pat on the ass. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. you did such a good job on your big girl meeting. <laughs> your big girl meeting. She hates me. <laughs> but, you know, I still do it. You like, stop it! And you get like that little, like, mm. <laughs> little punchies. Stop it! What? Stop it! What? What? Stop it! What? And you start punching just, just harder and harder. <laughs> please, please stop! <laughs> no, you had to ask. That's how domestic <laughs> violence. Starts. Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, Ethan, I feel bad. Uh, you can't just be an ass, and you can't just demand shit. Like, go get me a beer. Even if you say, "Go get me a beer, please." <laughs> Yeah. It just doesn't work. That's what you should start doing, though. Hey, can you, hey, get me the blanket, hey, please. Hey, give me a blanket, please. <laughs> yeah. He should try, start trying that. Mix up the tone. And if that doesn't work, <laughs> leave. Yeah. Double it. You could double it up to him. Be, May I please have the blanket, please? Oh, that's a Please one. give me the blanket, please. That's what our son did. He's like, fine, you want please? I got two of them for you. <laughs> Squeeze please, all these. Please one and please two. Right there. <laughs> right. One and two. Please left. Please right. <laughs> yeah. For the people not seeing, we're flipping off yeah. in fingerless leather gloves. Mm-hmm. Um, please give me. I a... love the idea of like a. <laughs> She's like, oh, give me that dick. <laughs> give me that dick. What? what? Please. No, no. Next time, I don't want to have to ask. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Say it like you mean it. Please. <laughs> Let me do it for you. <laughs> um, oh my god! I love what? the idea of a Heimlich maneuver. Like, oh, uh. oh, like, so, like you could do in this squeeze. Like, you want me to squeeze you? Want me to squeeze you? What? I can't hear mm. you. <laughs> I can't hear you. Say the magic word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, please, please squeeze me. I. Oh god! I just had this visual, like. Two people getting it on, and the guy just he just can't he just can't get there, and then the wife she like you know hops off or whatever. And she's like, "Let me do it for you." <laughs> and like if you if you know the meme, mm-hmm. that might be enough for you to go. That's the sexiest thing I've ever seen. I've ever yeah yeah. Or <laughs> you're like, what? Whoa. She's just like, "Let me do it for you." <laughs> Looks right into his eyes. It'd be terrible. What? Oh, I mean, just I'm like, you know that meme too? Come. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it takes like, sometimes. Obscure shit like that. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm just, that's so awesome you knew it. Like obscure, like um, like a sauna in a Burger King? Mm. 
Come on. Like if do it with me. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. One hot tub and a taco john. Yeah. <laughs> That's one hot tubs and a taco john too many. I'll go with you. I'm gonna go to Finland. Will you hold my hand? I will go we'll w- build one. Mm-hmm. What? No, I'll go with you and I'll <laughs> sit in the, the lobby, the BK lounge. Okay. <laughs> and you hang out in the sauna. Okay. Fine. All right. I I'll mean, go to Finland. Yeah. I want to go on a bunch of trips. I think we should take this shit on the road. Hell yeah. Start, let's start in Finland. Start, just take a little cruise over to Finland. Um, I found some good news this week. You ready Did for you? it? Yeah. Let's fucking do it, man. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hooray. We aren't doomed. Yeah. Come across stories like this from time to time. And it does just give me a... A, a, a boner? Little, yeah. Gives me a, gives me a boner. <clears throat> no, it just gives me a little boost in humanity. That not everybody was like, you know what? I'm going to film this for my TikTok. Mm. Because because it feels like that happens quite a bit. Yeah, some it, guy's dying. <laughs> oh, dude, check out this guy's dying, dude. Dude, I'm going to get so many views on this. <laughs> a Berlin bus. You know get, what you would have got more views? What? Saving the person's life. Right. And even if you didn't, guess what? You saved someone's yeah, life. But you would have. Yeah. Wow, dude, you saved that guy's life. <laughs> oh, my God. You told, How bad does it hurt? You're sticking your phone in their face. A Berlin bus gets lifted with the help of 40 people to free a young man pinned by the rear wheel. God, that's it. It took 40 people? It's a bus. Yeah, I mean, but Berlin's just a bunch of pussies. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Ever <laughs> since the Nazi regime fell, <laughs> fall things, the, things have gone downhill <laughs> yeah. in Berlin. A bunch of pussies bunch running of around. pussies <laughs> running around not doing shit. <laughs> Say what you will about Hitler. He did <laughs> shitty things, but that guy, Man, he, he had a vision. He, and he really de- followed it. T- determination. Determination and he accomplished his goals. Extermination. Okay. okay. They, a young man trapped under a bus in Berlin survived with minor injuries after 40 people joined forces to lift the vehicle off him in what police described as a heroic rescue event. The 18-year-old got pinned by a tire of the rear axle when he fell down while running to catch the bus as it pulled away from the stop uh, this past Monday afternoon. The bus driver immediately stopped. (laughs) No, no, no! Just go a little further! You're on him! What? (laughs) Hold on! He opens the door. Hops out. I'm what? (laughs) You're fucking on him! Oh, shit. Fucking the, the stop sign thing goes out. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait. <laughs> Hit somebody. Close lines a guy on a bicycle. <laughs> God, I could. Oh, case on the Mondays. <laughs> Why does this shit always happen on a Monday? God. He's <laughs> really setting the tone for the week. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. He puts out the brakes and just beats someone in the face with the stop sign. <laughs> oh, I can't do anything right. I'm the wor- I swear to God, I'm the worst bus driver. <laughs> the bus driver immediately stopped with the help of about 40 people, including passengers and passerby. Managed to lift the right side of the bus high enough to get the guy out of there. Could you imagine if the bus driver didn't get out and help? They're yeah. all trying to lift it, and he's like, I don't get paid <laughs> enough. <laughs> like, get off the bus! <laughs> Company policy, I can't leave the seat. <laughs> but I love to help. <laughs> and he's super strong. <laughs> Just a massive dude. And he's like, I just got this job. This is, the, this is my first day on the job. We know. <laughs> yeah. We know you parked on the kid. We know it's your first day on the job. I can't I can't lose this job. Dude, fucking speed bumps everywhere. He's dude. trying to call his boss. He's like, hey, can I come out and help the kid? He's like, help the kid what? <laughs> please. Please, can I help the kid? Can I, I help the kid live? Yes. Please. Please. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, but I'm going to remember this. Uh, Hang on, was... let me check with corporate. <laughs> yeah, one second, please hold. <laughs> uh, surgeons and nurses from a medical center close to the bus stop uh, in the neighborhood of, what does it say, Spanda? Spanda! <laughs> neighborhood of Berlin went to the scene to provide first aid. We were at work, we heard screams, and our boss looked out the window and saw what had happened and said, take the doctor's case and run. That sounds like a like a... An Go 80s song. Take the doctor's <laughs> case and run. run. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Honk, honk, honk. honk. Ho, honk. Honk. <laughs> Go on, take the doctor's case and run. <laughs> uh, the man suffered screams. Billy Mac was a driver <laughs> in Georgia, Georgia. Berlin. <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man suffered scrapes, bruises, and an arm injury, which is pretty awesome considering you're under a fucking bus. Yeah. Well, he, but, they really threw him. Never mind. Like, there is, this reminds me of a video that I had covered a long time ago where a cop 
Like a just a cop flipped a fucking car. It's just him to get a woman out of the out of the crashed vehicle. And it was, you know, it was this was way. Was it T one thousand? It was. He was looking for what was his name? The kid? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh no. Uh Sean uh Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was in that one. <laughs> Sean Connor, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. Mr. Connor. Hey, looking Sean. for the kid. John Connor. John Connor. John Connor. John yeah. Connor. <laughs> John John Connery. Connery? <laughs> what's a line I from- am the last one? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna say what what's a line from Terminator that's I will of... be back. <laughs> but the I line that John I says. I don't know. Something. Starts uh, uh, the line where he's hitting him. He's like, You don't you don't kill punch people, man. Welcome to the rock. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it reminded me of that. He just, he's came upon the scene and just fucking his dash cam footage has him and he's lifting the car and like flipping it, it. Steve Urkel's car. I don't know. No, it was heavier than that. He's was like, did, I <laughs> did I do that? Did I do that? That's, that's, can you imagine that being the last thing you hear? <laughs> like you got T-boned by Steve Urkel. <laughs> did I do that? <laughs> you fucking like you're on fire. <laughs> Your kids are dead in the back seat. And you're like grasping out the window, trying not to die. And you see Steve Urkel. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. You'd be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> and uh, then you're trying to lift up the car. Then this nose comes around the corner. It's like, let me do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> lifts the car up. <laughs> throws it. <laughs> All I do is for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to something uh, that I found on the internet okay. this week. Okay, let's fucking roll it. The internet is pretty wild. Depending on your browsing habits, you can either experience something super cool or go to prison. Crazy, right? Let's check it out together as a couple. Hey, look what I found. Yes. Hey, hey. that's awesome. <laughs> hey. I, this <clears throat> is, I've been doing more traveling than normal. In my life. Oh, we got it. Shut the fuck up, you Brian. You fucking do things. We got it. You no. You picture sent to us, and that's we live vicariously through you. Through a pic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Through a sick pic. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, came across this website. Very simple. Very straightforward. It is called makemydrivefun.com. And you put in your destinations, and then it just pulls up different places. So let's, let's just do, I don't know, let's mm. do Spokane, and we're going to... Seattle, Washington, and you put it up, and it pulls up all of like these little, little uh, things along the way mm. that you might want to go check out. Ha! Moses Lake, yeah, it's the water fountain. That's it. Farm junk mammoth skeleton. Is that th that's a no. thing out there, huh? Yeah, it's a big deal. But it just shows you some things that you can go check out, like um, a vintage Washington wild stallion sculptures. Well, yeah, you mm. remember that when you're about to cross the fucking Columbia? Yeah, oh, advantage. Yeah. yeah, we've all we've all seen that. I had to take. I almost shit my pants. That's just a quick side story. Uh, heading over to Seattle. Cool story. This, I did you shit saw my the pants. Horses and you yeah, I shit. So cool. Yeah, I put my pants. Fucking building the studio. That was cool. Bent down to plug something in and just shit my pants. So that's funny <laughs> for everybody. Um, but I was. I've never. Been, I've. It's been a long time since I've been that close to pooping my pants. And we had to stop in Vantage, and the gas station had a sign on it. And it said, welcome to Vantage. We've been expecting you. Kind of weird. Yeah. I was like, I don't think so. I wasn't even planning on coming here. How did you fucking creepy thing to say, Vantage gas station Advantage sign? Vantage them. Um, but yeah, so it just gives you these different things, little points of interest that you can add to your trip if you want to spice it up. Um, yeah, so make my drive fun.com. If you have a that's sweet road trip coming up and you got some, uh, some extra time, you're not in a pinch, go to that website and it'll tell you some fun places to go along your, along your journeys. <clears throat> what uh, if we did like Finland, uh, <laughs> Finland, to Burger King, Grand Coulee Dam, Burger King to Sauna Town. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take my Burger King to Sauna Town. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a weird thing. How to <laughs> you know hit, I mean? hit on your partner. You want to take, want to take my Whopper to Sauna Town? <laughs> She's like, I guess. Do I want to take your Whopper to Sonatown? What? what? Now, please? <laughs> Can I gape your sauna? That's funny. All right, let's hear from some of Flame broil your. <laughs> your Finland? <laughs> All right, let's just. Fucking Zach, do it. Thanks. Hey, you guys! <laughs> All right, let's hear what you guys think. Really? You want to talk to me? Wow, that's cool. You guys want to hear what <clears throat> World War II era peaches sound like in a microphone? Ready? 
Oh, oh that's an awful sound. Oh, look at the the pe- the chunks. I, those <sighs> should probably should be kept in a you know, like a jar. case. Those should probably be in a jarring room. Yeah, I picture you know <laughs> Back to the Future when he oh, when he God. when he kicks Shh. open the thing and he pulls out the okay. the uh, plutonium. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's a, what it looks like. And there's plenty more where that came from. I feel Oof. like you should turn that shit into a lab or something and have him look at it. Yeah. Well, we got four more jars. Well, no, Was we were talking about. Uh, we were talking about doing like antiques road show. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> how much is this worth? Just show walk, show up with that. <laughs> They're like, get out. Please, please how much, do that. How much is it worth? It's worth nothing. You owe us five dollars for bringing those fucking mm-hmm. peaches in here, dude. It's World War II. <laughs> it's World War II peaches. Vintage. Get out of the building. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> Fuck Antiques Roadshow. I'm going to the whatever the <laughs> rival. Spike your spike your peaches oh, on the ground. God. <laughs> Fuck Antiques Roadshow. That's probably something they've never had yelled, yelled at them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fuck this place. What? <laughs> okay. So our first email coming in from our son BB. Who wrote, hey guys, BB here, and I need to share something. This is a heavy one, by the way. So, you know. Oh, a uh, nod to uh, Back to the Future. It's a heavy one what, please? Uh, hey guys, BB here, I need to share something. I was planning on taking my life tonight. Jesus. I know. It's this one. Uh, yeah, pulling these out of the emails. Fucking just a reminder. Of, I don't know. Like, I was there. People have been there. Just fucking... You were with him? No, just you've been in the darkness. Oh. Uh, And it's not fun. So I was planning on taking my life tonight. I was planning on telling everyone at work goodbye when I left today. I was in a very dark spot. I don't know how I got there either. (sighs) I get that. I just came, it just came up out of the blue. I told my wife what I was planning, I guess, as a desperate plea for help. While talking to her, I remembered what Joe had shared on the show and started to see some light. I thought about my boys and my wife and how it would affect them for the rest of their lives. So thank you for sharing, Joe. I don't know how I got there, but for you, you sure saved at least one life today. Thank you. Wow. It's interesting when you when you start thinking about like, okay, if I died, it's going to affect a lot of people, obviously. Mm-hmm. But then you're like, if I, you know, my kids don't have their dad or their mom or whoever, mm-hmm. and then you then you like start thinking years down the line, like, oh, they're going to grow up without this or that. Yeah, yeah, that was the that was the the big one for me. Was yeah, I'll fucking always remember that taping the picture of my kids over my fucking gun safe. Cool. Do not open. <laughs> Do not open till Christmas. It's not funny. It's not. <laughs> then why are you laughing? I Zach? can't help myself. God. And the, the funny thing about that is you had to push the microphone to laugh into it. <laughs> yeah. You had to let everybody know that that was funny. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> it, it, well, good. It was supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that that the, darkness is a is a fucking awful spot. You just think it, it, I don't even know what it is with the brain where it's like just everything would be better if you weren't here. And shutting that voice up when shit's really bad is so hard. Because time, like I've always said, time does what time does, and you just have to wait. <laughs> like not, literally nothing, including us. We don't last forever. Just hang out. Just hang out. Everything is going to change. Emotions change. Chem- chemical imbalances in your brain change. Your friends change. You ch- everything fucking changes. So just stick it out, and it's going to change, and it's going to be okay. It's it's weird when you think when you like school shootings or things like that. When I was in junior high, we had a school shooting, and then the next year, a kid that I knew pretty well. Damn, you, got, you guys got in before it was cool. Oh, we, yeah. This was 96. You guys beat the, yeah, beat the trend. We were three years ahead of Columbine. Wow. Trailblazers. Uh, yeah. Whew. So that was one year. Then the next year, a kid that I knew that I saw every morning in classes just wasn't at school one day. And then the news came down that he killed his sister, his mom, and himself. And his dad came home from work or whatever, for lunch Fuck. or whatever. And they were all dead. So he would have been 13, I think. Mm -hmm. And it just shows you like what you're saying, like how bad something can be when you're 12, 13 and Mm -hmm. your emotions, you're like, you feel like you don't want to be around. I don't want to be around anymore. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then some of these people that, that go through that and then they're, they're mega, they're, they have this great life as a grown up because they got past all of it. Mm -hmm. And in the moment, everything it's dire. But yeah, it feels like there's nothing. If you can trudge no through there's, that and get no past point. it, yeah. and then you're like, okay, I see some, can see some, uh, whatever, light, light at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. But because that was, I mean, 
that that kid. Oh, here, I, someone I someone that I know ended up being a cellmate with a kid that was a school shooter, and that person was talking about they're like the regret that he had because he's thirteen years old. Yeah, and you killed these people. And you went to life for prison, mm-hmm. or uh, prison for life, and here we are 20, almost 30 years later, and you're like, fuck, I was just a kid. Mm-hmm. I ruined my life, I ruined their lives, I ruined their family's lives. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's really sad. It's super dark stuff, but, uh, and B, he, uh, go by BB, but he did put his actual name in here, but I didn't, I don't know, I didn't put it out there without his consent. Like, he did write it all in there, I guess, decided to switch it. Um, just in case, because no one likes you know having stuff broadcast that you didn't want. Mm. You know what I mean? And then well, drug know. through, and then drug through over and over again to millions of people. Um, okay, you want to read the the second email? Um, love you, BB. Yeah, glad you're here, man. Yeah, yeah it was man. just I wasn't quite over that yeah. yet. Just uh, we're glad you're still here. No, absolutely. And uh, every time you have that feeling, just picture Joe's face. Like, well, it could be worse. Yeah. And, and hear, just picture me. And hear a little goosey sound and realize. <laughs> give, you, give, him a little, give him a little sexy honk yeah. for the road. <sighs> you got some friends in us. There you go. You got a friend in me. <laughs> on, the, on the outside of my gun safe, instead of a picture of my kids, I have a button I can push that does a sexy honk. Mm, oh, I thought you were going to say <laughs> it, it has a picture of, uh, what's the dude's name that wrote that song? Gary Busey. <laughs> Zach, help me out. You got a friend Randy. in me. Newman? Yeah, yes. Randy Newman. Randy Newman. Which sounds like a wrestler. Yeah, it does. Randy well, Newman. It sounds like a race car driver. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman. Come around turn two, Ryan Newman. <laughs> All right. Okay, go. Second email coming for a daughter, Natalie. Whoa, what? <laughs> What'd you just say? <laughs> see, how, <laughs> see how fast I can read? Our second email coming in for our daughter, Natalie. <laughs> giving us a cute little life update. Hmm, okay. Hey, daddies. Hi. Oof. I don't know why that's so hot. Mm. This is our daughter from the. Uh, this is your daughter from the gaggle, Natalie, checking in. Hi. I sent you a baby shower invitation back oh, yeah. in February. Remember that? Along with the honk mugs. Yes, we, we still have. Hon- we have the the, mugs, the mugs on right the here. table. Yeah. We weren't, a- weren't able to get to the uh, the shower, but we're showering ourselves in <laughs> in gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Mess with the honk, get the bonk. We still got those. Yeah. Thank you, Natalie. Um. What. And I just remembered that I never emailed this in. Okay. Our son Cash was born back on March 10th. But uh, but let me tell you all about the events leading up to his arrival. March 9th, I took our two dogs to the vet by myself at almost 38 weeks pregnant. God, where was your husband? <laughs> oh, what a dick. Useless. I hope he's... Useless what? <laughs> please. <laughs> Sorry, you, I'm useless, please. Will you take please. me to the hospital? What? What? What will you say? Yeah. Please. <laughs> Hospital. If you don't want to fucking kill you, take me to the labor room. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh, later that evening, Josh and I went back to the grocery store shop. Mm-hmm. Grocery shop. Go to the Target and we went to dinner. Then we finally got home that night and comfortable in our own couch. We decided to watch the episode of Can You Don't for March 8th. A little shout out there, huh? Mm-hmm. We were roughly 15 minutes in, probably still on the show opener because <laughs> we were rambling too much. <laughs> And my water broke. for you. <laughs> and my water broke out of nowhere at 10:30 p.m. Our son made his arrival the next evening. Aww. Ooh, long labor. Mm. We ended up finishing the episode a couple weeks after making it back home. We tell Cash that we only arrived when he did. That he be- only arrived. That he only arrived when he did because he was just so excited to meet you guys. Oh. Josh has been saying for months to email this in, but damn, life gets busy when you're taking care of a tiny human. Sure Cheers, does. Natalie. And there's a picture of. I know. Him. Look at the little picture. Hi! What is that? that Cash! Ba- what does it say, though? Is, is it backwards? Backwards. It's five months. Five months. But I think they sent this in. He's he's six months now. This one's been sitting in our email for a little bit, but oh. found a time to put it in. Hi, Cash! What a cute little kid. What a cute little fella. Let me do it for you. That looks like that's what he would say. Looks like that the pillow would say. Ooh. That's with them. <laughs> Congratulations, Yay! Natalie and Josh. Yay. Yons, a little gosling for the gaggle. Love it. Well, thank you guys so much. Episode, what was it, 67? Yeah, Fuck yeah dude. Star 67. <laughs> Remember More that? anonymous, baby. Prank. Uh, support us on Patreon. It means so much, you guys. It's the number one thing you could do. Lots of perks for you. Lots of perks for everybody. Patreon.com slash can you don't podcast. Become a part of the gaggle what, Joe? Please. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us. Please at- follow us on Instagram. 
at Can You Don't Podcast, please. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Please. It can you don't podcast. Please. Yeah. If you have something you want to send to the show, please email that in to hey guys at can you don't podcast.com, please. And then please rate and please review us wherever you listen to podcasts. How about please. a shirt that just says please? Please. Please. Please what? Uh <laughs> and please go check out everything that Uncle Zach, Uncle Z sitting backwards in the chair out there. It's uncomfortable as fuck. Doing all the shit that he does for Scatcast, that whole universe, plus more. He's got a new music show in there. It's a lot of fun. You go to scatcast.com. Check that out. Um, is Please. there anything coming up you want to want promo? I, I feel like we need to do that on the front part of the show, though. No, we've got the, we just got our Liam box set out. So okay. everybody that ordered those, they're in the mail, and you're going to get your cool wands and your... All the cool shit that comes with it, the book and everything. And if you just heard Liam box set, and you're like, what the fuck is that? Liam the Monster Hunter. Go it's one of listen. our silly things, yeah. Go listen, and you would fucking know. How about that, please? That's right. Do it. Get there. And please, thanks Go to our- Go listen what? Please. Please. Uh, thanks to our babysitters that moderate our Facebook page, please. Uh, you ready to, to wrap things up? Sure am. Wrap things up what? <laughs> Zach! <laughs> Good God. Wrap it up already, huh? Sent in by our son, Matt. Good <laughs> Sorry. Good God, wrap it up already, please. Please. <laughs> you have to admire people who have overcome disabilities. I mean, you really have to hand it to blind prostitutes. <laughs> Get it? Did you make that up? No, Matt said it. Mm. That sounds like a made up <laughs> one, but still, well, they're all made up, but yeah. like a recently made up one. Really got to hand it to blind prostitutes. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Hand me your dick. Well, Hand me your dick, dick what? <laughs> Please! This is for you, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> How much for a rim job? How much for a rim job what? <laughs> How much for a rim job, please? That's better. 20 bucks. Um, <laughs> actually, it's Tuesday. 15. I'm running the special. Two for Tuesday. <laughs> Two for Rimmers. <laughs> Rimmer Thursday. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, if you subscribe to us on Patreon, the show keeps going. If not, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Bye.